Today I will show you two ways to create isometric grid. First one is more popular. We create lines, copy and rotate them. And second one, we create grid in few clicks using grid tool where all lines are already created. In this video you will see popular and little known way to create isometric grid in Adobe Illustrator. Create a new document. Click on web. Enter 800 here and 800 here. Click on create. Now I will show you the way when we are creating grid using lines. So first of all select fill and click on none. Then zoom out a little bit. Go for line segment tool, it's over here. And draw a line like this. Hold shift while you're doing this. Then press V for selection tool. Hold alt. Start to move this line to the right. And hold shift also. You should have alt plus shift. Make a copy. Then hold ctrl D to make a lot of copies like this. Stop somewhere here. Select all these lines. Go to properties panel. In stroke, select all 25 points. Then change opacity to 40%. You'll be able to change opacity anytime and you can even change color if you want. Now click on this properties panel to close it and press Ctrl G to group these lines. After this, select rotate tool and simply press enter. You should rotate to 60 degrees. Click on copy. After this, we'll create another copy and flip it along horizontal axis. So press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, go to properties panel and click here. Flip along horizontal axis. We are almost done. We need to align this grid to our artboard. And after this, we'll apply clipping mask. So select all these layers. In align panel, click more options. Align to artboard. Now click here on Horizontal Align Center and on Vertical Align Center. After this, if you have these gaps in corners of your artboard, that means that you need to scale your grid. Zoom out a little bit and scale it like this. Now click somewhere on the workspace to deselect these objects. Go for Rectangle tool. It doesn't matter if we don't have fill or if we don't have stroke color. Just draw a rectangle from corner to corner. Then press V for selection tool. Select all layers. Right click. Make clipping mask. And you are ready to work. Now I will show you second way when we use grid tool to create isometric grid. I will simply delete this one. And now zoom out a little bit. Select Grid Tool, it's over here, Rectangular Grid Tool, press Enter, enter 300 here and 300 here. Click OK. Then draw a rectangle like this, hold Shift while you're doing this. Go to Properties panel and change Stroke to all 25 points. Then change Opacity to 40%. After this, Go for Scale tool, double click on Scale tool, and right here in Vertical enter this value. That's it, click OK. Then go for Shear tool, it's over here. Press Enter, and enter 30 degrees here. Click OK. And last thing we need to do here is to select Rotate tool, click Enter, and let's rotate it to minus 30 degrees. Click OK. After this we need to scale it as you can see. Let's zoom out. Let's scale it like this. Then deselect this grid. Press M for Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle from corner to corner. Press V for Selection tool, select these layers, right click, make clipping mask. And your grid is done and ready to use. In this Isometric Illustrator tutorial, I showed you how to create isometric grid. And if you learned something new from this video, 
Make sure to subscribe to TNT Tutorials right now. Just click subscribe button below this video. Also, if you want to get newest tutorials from TNT, make sure to click the bell icon. Now I want to turn it over to you. Which of these two ways did you like the most? Are you going to use first way, where we create lines, copy and rotate them? Or are you going to try second way, where we use grid too? Either way, let me know by leaving a comment below right now. In next extended tutorial, I will show you how to create isometric template workspace. It will save your time and nothing will stop you from expressing yourself in isometric design. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.